Hey, what's up guys? So if you caught my video yesterday, we learned, well, we know that Binance is the biggest exchange globally and holds the most trading volume for almost every single cryptocurrency in the market, including the large cap coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Well, yesterday we learned via an announcement from Binance on Twitter that during the Ethereum London hard fork update, which is scheduled for August the 5th, roughly around 15 hours from now, Binance is to suspend trading for Ethereum and all ERC20 tokens on Binance. Now today they posted a follow-up tweet in regards to why they are planning to do this. And we'll go over that in a little bit. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. But at the same time, I don't want you guys to be blindsided because there is a lot of hype surrounding the Ethereum London hard fork update, which is set to release on August the 5th in roughly around 15 hours. But it is possible that there could be a major sell-off. And not just for Ethereum tokens, but all ERC20 tokens. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the DEX and ERC20 tokens that are minted on Ethereum and all the dApps that are built on Ethereum, a lot of the tokens that you know that you could be very holding, you may not know are ERC20 tokens. Like Polygon Matic is built on Ethereum. Chainlink is built on Ethereum. Aave, FTX, AMP, all of these tokens are ERC20 tokens and the list goes on because there are a lot of ERC20 tokens and dApps built on Ethereum. And Binance is to suspend not just trading for Ethereum but ERC20 tokens as well. And like I said guys, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. I talk about multiplying your wealth every single day. And in order for me to be successful, you guys got to be successful because oftentimes I'm invested in these projects and I want you guys to invest in these projects as well because I always choose these projects that we can multiply our value that will do 100x, 1000x because we are getting in so early. And in order for me to be successful, you guys got to be successful and the community needs to grow. And although cryptocurrency has been around for over a decade, it's still a very new space. A lot of new investors and a lot of young investors coming in and learning how to trade for the very first time every single day. And maybe you've never even traded in the traditional stock markets and you're only learning in crypto. The last thing I want you guys to do if you are new is to lose your money because you could get trapped in some of these tokens or be blindsided by massive sell-offs. And one of the terms that likes to get thrown around very easily in the crypto markets as soon as tokens dip, even though it's a natural thing, is automatically the word scam gets thrown around. And I'm telling you, the word scam is a very harsh word, guys. And the minute that term gets thrown around, every new investor starts throwing that term around and then we lose volume and then you sell your tokens at a low and you never come back. But on this channel, it's all about multiplying your wealth. So like I said, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but we're going to do some reading in regards to why Binance has decided to do this. And so if we click on this link right here, We'll do some reading. The Ethereum London hard fork is an update changing the blockchain's transaction fee model and difficulty time bomb. The Ethereum network will set transaction fees with a base fee for each block rather than building on gas prices. So the ongoing theme with the Ethereum we know today is high transaction fees and scalability, meaning it's very hard for new investors trading with small amounts of money to learn how to trade because the transaction fees are so high and often and often if you're cashing out in various ERC20 tokens built on Ethereum, that 10% or 20% profit that you're taking from your coins turns out to be your transaction fee and you don't end up making any profits or sometimes sell at a loss. And that's where the London hard fork steps in for Ethereum and Ethereum 2.0, which is supposed to be the next update following the London hard fork. So to coincide with the planned release of Ethereum 2.0, which they write here, developers are also delaying an intentionally built in event known as the difficulty time bomb. This will encourage miners to switch from proof of work to proof of stake. 
Ethereum London hard fork is an update to the Ethereum blockchain coming soon after the April 2021 Berlin hard fork. The London update marks significant changes to Ethereum's transaction fee system, which has long been a contentious subject. The update also makes preparations for the planned Ethereum 2.0 release by making adjustments to its consensus model. London, however, is considered controversial by some due to the significant changes it has on crypto transaction fees and mining. The exact effects the changes will have for users and miners aren't fully known, but they will be temporary because Ethereum 2.0 is coming soon. And we'll continue reading here what this means for the community and what the community actually thinks about the London hard fork. There are mixed feelings when it comes to the London network upgrade, mainly concerning transaction fees. Although miners are preparing for an end to proof of work with Ethereum 2.0, this update significantly alters the fees miners receive. This reduction could potentially lead to a decrease in the profit that miners make. Another concern is that Ethereum mining could become more centralized. Some argue that only the largest miners with the lowest energy costs will be able to operate at a profit. While we can't say for sure the deflationary mechanisms are expected to raise the price of ETH, such expectation could be related to the fact that after the update, Ethereum will burn the ETH base fee of all blockchain transactions. Now, if you guys wanted to read the full article, the link is off the Binance Twitter page and they posted this around five hours ago. As mentioned earlier, there was a lot of hype surrounding the London hard fork update. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but at the same time, I don't want a lot of people to be blindsided by this because not only is it Binance suspending trading for Ethereum, but ERC20 tokens as well that are traded on Binance. And if you guys didn't already know, if you call my video yesterday, I showed you on CoinMarketCap, if you click on market for any of your favorite cryptocurrencies on CoinMarketCap, you can see where all the volume for all your cryptocurrencies come from. And oftentimes for almost every single cryptocurrency, the biggest volume, the biggest trading volume comes from Binance traded globally. Binance traded with the Euro. Binance traded with the British Pound. Binance traded with the Turkish Lira. Binance traded with the Australian Dollar, USD, as well as stable coins like USDT, USDC, BUSD, and so forth. And the list goes on. Anyways, all this information and the announcement for the suspended trading is all linked here on the Binance Twitter page. The Ethereum London hard fork update is set to release in roughly around, I think, about 15 hours. So if you guys wanted to look into it, all of the information here is here on Twitter. Other than that, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. As mentioned in all my videos, not financial advice. You got to do your own technical analysis. But uh, if you like this video, smash that like button below. Subscribe to my channel because I got videos every single day. And I try to find you guys those projects that we can multiply our value. And I talk about these projects every day on my channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe. But I already said that. So I'm going to leave it at that. Catch you guys in the next one.